Hi, it's Dr. Lizbeth Alter. So, when was the last time your blood pressure was measured? Do you know all the steps that go into accurate blood pressure measurement? So, first of all, the, the blood pressure should be measured, believe it or not, by an electronic device. So, the best electronic device is the little box that comes with a tube attached to the to an arm cuff. So this uh, has been shown to be more accurate than the manual measurement of, of blood pressure. Secondly, you, you should make sure that wherever you are, they're using the appropriately sized cuff. The, the cuff that goes around your arm should be appropriate to your size. So for instance, if you're a big guy and they put this small cuff on you, your blood pressure reading will be higher than it should be. So this should be looked at and considered. The other part of um, uh, blood pressure reading is that your blood pressure should be measured in both arms. And uh, this, there's some diseases that your blood pressure may be higher in one arm than in the other. The other aspect is to be seated with your back supported and both feet on the ground, so legs uncrossed. And if you've come to my office, you know I've lectured you at some point about keeping your legs uncrossed anyway, even without measuring um, your blood pressure because um, it adds longevity to your life. Okay, then lastly, oh, and you should be in that position, so with your back supported, both feet on the ground, for five minutes before they take the blood pressure. Um, also, very important, your bladder should be empty. You know, many patients arrive to the doctor's office and they're running late and they don't urinate. So it's very important for your bladder to be empty. If not, you'll get a false um, high reading. And then lastly, there should be two readings of your blood pressure. So the blood pressure should be measured a minute or two apart and then the average of that taken into account. So it's um, important to have all these aspects um, taken into account when it comes to measuring um, your blood pressure. There are also other aspects of your blood pressure. For instance, the blood pressure readings should take into account your blood pressure before you go to sleep and then during the night. Um, there's some patients that do different things with their blood pressure during the night. And this aspect, unfortunately, is missing from, from our full evaluation of blood pressure. So next time, um, the, the, what, the other point I want to make is it's very hard to do all these steps in a doctor's office. So I usually tell my patients to try to do these things outside of the office which actually, actually has more accurate readings than in-office blood pressure. So measuring your blood pressure correctly is really important, especially if you're at that point that you may have high blood pressure. Well, thank you. And again, thank you for following me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And have a healthy night.